Tonight's episode of Fandom Collective 1138 is brought to you by Mike's Harder Lemonade, now in Deadpool flavor, which tastes sort of like bubblegum that you've already chewed and has been set fire on with a blowtorch, at least judging from the look of the guy. Anyway, thanks to this fantastic sponsorship, we now have two whole paintings for you to look at. Enjoy the show. Um, hey everybody, it's, uh, it's your old pal Wasp and Lather again. Um, it's been quite an active day here on the YouTube. Not just sitting around watching other people's videos all day and getting kind of bored. I've, I've, I've actually had some people to talk to, so that's fantastic. Um, thought maybe we'd uh, look at some comments here and uh, comment back on them and just kind of see how things go. Um, crap. I wish I hadn't accidentally killed Thanos last time. Um, because now I don't have a camera, man. I guess, uh, yeah. Okay, well, give me a second, okay? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay. I have to do all this one robot show. Alrighty then. Let's see here. We got, we got the tablet and my nice green robot hand. Just wonderful fucking production quality. Only the best on Fandom Collective 1138 for you, the viewer. Okay. So I know I got some comments on the last video we made. Uh, Fandom Collective 1138 destroys the anti-tracker. Let's, let's see what people had to say. Turn the volume down. We don't need to actually listen to the video. We just want to go to the comments if they'll ever load. Once again, this wonderful production. Oh, an error we could. It's not like we paid our internet bill already. Oh, look, geeks and the gamers. John oh, Ben Shapiro, that's great. He's getting in on the Star Wars bandwagon. Something about Donald Trump. Awesome. It's, it's great when you're looking at, at, at videos about Star Wars and Star Trek and your suggested videos are giving you suggested videos about the Donald Trump and other political nonsense. I, I'm, I'm not anti-Trump by any means, but I'm not exactly pro-Trump either. I'm, 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 I'm Trump indifferent, which in and of itself is pretty rare in this country nowadays. Okay, so let's see. We've got some replies here. Uh, uh, Jay, for some reason, is laughing at the, the, the discrepancy between the subscribers, between me and the anti-trucker. I, I don't know exactly how that is relevant or anything. I've only been doing this for like a month. Okay. Let's see. Mr. Pete channel. Uh, oh, he is my very 17th subscriber. And as of the last time I looked, I got 20. Yep, yep. 20 subscribers, so he was three subscribers ago. Get with the times here, Mr. Pete. Uh, hello, Fandom Collective 1138. I like uh, your channel, and I subbed. Uh, okay, yes, I guess I can be the dom in this relationship if you'd like to be my sub. I mean, that's cool. There's an awful lot of subs on, on, on YouTube, I notice. So, okay, um, you can wear the gag and the uh, gimp outfit. And uh, I will uh, instruct you what to do with the candle wax and the large phallic sex toys. Okay, well, anyway, he claims to be on the, the friendly terms with AT&T. Okay, well, that's, that's great for you. Maybe, maybe you work for AT&T. And he's inviting me to his chat tonight. Tonight. Wow. Please come and I can pick up Sunday's... 20 more subs? Wow. So that's like, I'll have 21 subs serving all my sexually deviant needs. That is fantastic. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Jim Jimfer, 2011. You'll like mine. Be like 1138. Mr. Pete already subbed. It's great. Okay, now well, thanking you. Someone says my channel's good. That's great. That's from Jill again. Jim Fur. Is that Jim? I don't know. 
My brain wants to say Jennifer when I look at that, but I don't think that's what you're going for here. Let's see. Let's see what's up with Mr. Pete's channel. Uh, I guess... Will that do it? Yeah, let's take me to the Mr. Pete channel. Let's, let's find out what's up with this. Yeah, fine, whatever. I don't care. Uh, take me to my subscriptions. Let's see here. Where is the Mr. Pete? Ah, oh, right here. Um, let's see, we got wildlife video. Oh, he opened a Soy Wars shirt. Oh, no, he's an Ethan Van Scriber subscriber. I mean, I subscribe, but I mean, I don't give the dude money and buy his stuff. I'm, I'm iffy. I'm kind of in the middle ground on the whole uh, Star Wars Last Jedi thing. I, I kind of don't want to take either side because both of them have their issues. Let's see what's going on here. Hello there, YouTube land. Welcome um, to the Mr. Pete channel. Uh, hi, hi, Mr. Pete. Like this video. Well, the case Maybe. Maybe I should listen to it first before I like and subscribe. The comic book artist and sometimes writer, Ethan Van Skyver. Oh yeah, he's, he's definitely an Ethan Van Skyver fan. He actually ordered one of his soy washes. Oh no, this is sad. I, I mean, it's this is all going to wreck Star Wars. You realize. Uh, all, all of this Phantom Menace thing, I mean, it's fun, and I like watching a lot of these channels. It's it's, it's not actually how I came across the Anti-Trekker originally. Uh, it was because of Star Trek Discovery reviews, how I discovered him. But then, like, well, you know, I, I watched as he reviewed all of The Last Jedi in excruciating detail. And uh, it's also during that same period, suddenly I discovered Geeks of Gamers and comic artist pro secrets and world class of bullshitters and uh, I think I might be doing a video maybe a little bit later on that uh, on who I consider to be the, the rogues gallery of the, the anti last Jedi anti Star Wars pitchfork faction <laughs> I might actually include the anti checker although I put him with the Thor Skywalker as being one of the regretful ones Let's see. Oh. Well, you complain about my video quality. Jesus. At least my stuff is in focus. Come on, guy. Get on with it. Oh, this is interesting to see that uh, they're having issues getting all their stuff shipped out on time. I'm sure that's not going to be a problem when they have to ship out their first issue of the comic book supposedly in September. We'll see. I, I can't help but be a cynical person. I mean, I, I've spent centuries, like, watching Autobots and Decepticons, like, do all sorts of stupidity around each other. So, I'm, I just, I, I'm not very trustworthy of people who are all too happy to, to take your money. And uh, Ethan Van Skyver is definitely one of those. I mean, like, what, what are you going to do with that shirt, man? I, I buy a lot of really cool t-shirts, and I get compliments on the regular. Uh, walking around in public, on the bus, at work all the time. Well, that's the kind of t-shirt, I mean, that you're going to have to explain that to every single person and have a 70-30 chance that they're not going to come out of this thinking you're an asshole afterwards. This is, I mean, oh, Soiler, this, this is such an inside joke. I guess you can wear it when you're doing the YouTube videos. People might get it then. But um, just going around the public, okay, one out of a million people will know what the hell you're talking about. And that's probably generous odds. There's like two other people in whatever city you're living in who will recognize that thing. And like, what's the point of wearing a shirt? Like, you know, like you want people to, like... Oh, dude, that's awesome. You, you you want them to catch what you're doing, you know? You're trying to have to stop and describe everything that's wrong with Star Wars to normies? Jesus. 
you know, that's kind of part of the problem with the whole Star Wars thing is is the normies are so much being left out of the equation. It's this battle between the fans and the media fans. I guess you could call them fans. They're ignoring just all the regular schnoes. And, and you have Lucasfilm on one side telling everyone that Star Wars fans are toxic people. And then you have the Star Wars fans, on the other hand, doing their damn best to look like toxic people while saying that they're not toxic people and how dare you accuse them of being a toxic people. And regular people... Just normal everyday schmucks who might be thinking about like, oh, do I want to get my kids into the Star Wars and buy them the Star Wars toys and take them to the Star Wars movies? They're going to be like, oh, wow, I totally want my kids to be into this toxic environment going on here. I mean, that's what's going to kill Star Wars. That's probably why Star Wars is already dead. Honestly, though, in the truth, that might be the best thing. I'm come this close to siding with the religious nut jobs who actually treat Star Wars like an honest bona fide the religion and pretend to be Jedi Knights and have their little Jedi temple and have Star Wars themed writings. I'm not there, but I'm close. I, I do strongly uh, believe that Star Wars has provided a common thread of mythology for a, a modern secular age, but uh, I, I don't think that it's so much to actually believe the Force is a real thing, anything beyond just a metaphor. But those people exist for a reason. People take this all very seriously. And uh, ditching all the commercialized Disney crap, having it all go down in a gigantic pit of flames, will preserve, hopefully, the original Star Wars six trilogy. What do you call a six-part thing? Because it's really not wrong to call it a trilogy. And they're, they all go together. But it will preserve the actual work of the original true George Lucas Star Wars. If Disney go down in the flames and as a franchise it fails and people stop going to the movies. So this, this all might be a hindsight good thing. But oh man, oh man, is it sad. It's sad to see this happening. It's, it's like watching tens of millions of, of grown up adult boys all having to learn to be men all at once and let go of their childhood. And maybe it's good for them, but it's still, it's sad. Um, well, anyway, um, I guess that was an all right video from the Mr. Pete. Um, it was pretty short. I, I got to see him open up a bag. Uh, noticed he had to do a jump edit because he didn't have a knife on hand. That's, that's not very prepared, man. Uh, but okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, well. That, that's a fantastic note to have to end on. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe if you enjoy this quality product that we here at Fandom Collective 1138 provide to you every day. And have a good night.